In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the accompaniment recordings onto your computer through the Interactive Practice Studio. Now, in a separate video, I've showed you how to play and download the accompaniment recordings through the DVD that was included in the back of your book, but through the Interactive Practice Studio, you can manage everything. So I'm going to go ahead and log in into my clarinet book. And once I'm in, I've got these general icons over here. The one with the green arrow going into the hard drive, that's the media manager, or the media downloader. And that's how you access all the different files that the book has to offer. The video, the audio, any sort of PDFs or worksheets, this is how you can manage all that data. And either put it into your cache, play it right from here, or download it to your computer so you can manipulate it in the way that you're most comfortable. And that's what I'd like to show you today. So the very first two clicks are the ones that you'll be interested in. There's iTunes Audio and Windows Media Audio, depending on which uh, computer you have or use. I'm an Apple user, I'm a Mac user, so I'll click on the iTunes Audio, and once I've selected what I'd like to download, I just go to Get Selected Items. That bar will fill up as it downloads into your computer, and once it's finished downloading, it's going to expand the files. That's what's happening now. It might take a little longer than I just showed uh, there to download the files. But as soon as it's finished, it's going to expand them. It's going to place them in a folder on your computer. And that's just all that what's happened now. I've just taken the accompaniment recordings off the internet, downloaded them into my computer. Now, to get to the folder where those files are, I can click on Open Media, uh, the Open Media Downloads folder, which is this click that says it's finished. I can ignore that, so I can show you the other way. If you'd like to find it faster, there's a folder here that says Find. Whenever you download something onto your hard drive, there's a Find folder there, which will take you right to the folder. So you can click on that, or at any time, you can always click on Open Media Downloads folder. And that'll take you to this window. Now, this is just on my computer now. And here's the audio clarinet that I just downloaded. Okay, double-click on that folder. You have all of the audio. From here, it's up to you how you'd like to manage it. Um, you can double click on it and it would play through your uh, media player. For me it's iTunes. Or you could go over to iTunes. I have this playlist set up. I'll just delete that. But you can go over iTunes and create a new playlist. And it would be this untitled one. And then you can drag everything over there. And make a playlist from there. That would take just a little while. So I'm not going to do that. But you could take uh, just the, the files that you'd like to and drop them over to your playlist. And there they are. From here, you can play them through your Page iTunes. Page 43. Or through number two, your media player. Major. Or you can sync them with your mobile devices. So I can put them on my iPhone, my iPad, and play them just like that. These are all through uh, the program. This is not IPS related. Now I'm in iTunes, and that's how I'm doing this. Uh, or I can take this playlist and burn this to a CD, and that's how I would make my CD uh, of uh, all of the things, uh, all of the audio recordings for the clarinet book, should I need to. So that is how to download the accompaniment recordings through the Interactive Practice Studio. Again, very quickly, click on Media Downloader, click on the medium that you'd like to download, click on Get Selected Items, and then click on Open Media Downloads folder, and they're all right there.